This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Hey guys, this here is a tiny amplifier and I can proudly say that I made it myself. It can make about 3 watts of power, which may not be an amazing number, but it's still pretty good for something of this size. I mean, the PCB measures just 2x2 two two centimeters, and I think it's really cute. Now, some of you may be wondering why I even bothered making one of these, and you would have a point. After all, you can get a 3 watt stereo amplifier from China for about a dollar. Well, the answer is that I made this tiny amp mostly for fun, but also because for quite some time I've been interested in PCB design, and this seemed like a good opportunity to practice. A lot of modern chips come only in surface mount packages, and if you want to make something useful with them, you have to know how to make a PCB and how to solder SMD components. So now let me show you how I made this amp. I was shopping for parts one day when I came across the NS4150 chip amp. It was just a couple of dollars for 10 pieces, so I got some. While waiting for the package to arrive, I made a PCB for it with the help of today's sponsor PCBWay. Basically, I found the datasheet for the NS4150, which had a thorough description of the chip and, most importantly, a circuit diagram. Then I replicated the diagram in software and laid out a PCB. This process took me about one hour. Then I sent my Gerber files over to PCBWay for manufacturing. Once again, I have to thank PCBWay who are kind enough to manufacture the PCB for me. It took about one week to get these made and delivered to my door and the quality is really good for the price. Now let's put this amp together. Soldering SMD components can be intimidating, especially for beginners, but it's totally possible. The NS4150, which I'm using for this project, comes in a SOP8 package, which is considerably smaller than the old-school DIP8, but I soldered it by hand many times in the past. Here's a common technique. First, you put a drop of solder on one of the corner pads. Then you take the chip and solder it. The drop of solder will now keep the chip in place. After that, you solder the leg in the opposite corner. And then you take care of the other legs. With SMD capacitors and resistors, you first drop some solder on one of the pads. Then you put the component in place and melt the solder once again until it sticks. After that, you solder it on the other side and you're done. The header pins are easy to solder. If you want to make sure they are vertical, Put them in a breadboard first. Finally, I soldered the switch and the electrolytic capacitor. Ok, time for a sound check. For this I made a custom audio cable that lets me take audio signal from my phone and feed it into the pins of the amplifier. I am also feeding it 5 volts from a power bank. Two more wires send the amplified signal to a speaker. Now let's play some music. And the amplifier works as expected. It's not the loudest, of course, but I would say it sounds good enough. And that's how I made my tiny amplifier. As usual, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below and subscribe to my channel to never miss any of my future videos.